Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. Today I'm painting on something I haven't painted on before. It's a wine glass. And um, I'm going to be using this porcelain, oh, let's find one with a sale sticker on it, this Pabo Porcelain 150 paint. Um, this is actually designed for painting on mugs or plates or things like that. And um, hey, you know what? That's okay. We are creating something magical. <laughs> um, this does, um, if you've got glass paint, I'm sure glass paint would do a fantastic job of this. Um, but I've got this from painting my mugs and I've been asking what they would like to be painted on and you know Christmas is coming and I've got adults to do gifts for as well as sweet wee babes so um thought, well you know what about a hand blown wine glass when I say hand blown that's what I mean it's gonna be a pour but it could also have a bit of hose blowing going on. So let's get started and see what this paint would like to create. Um, I'm going to um, I'm going to pour around this the top of the stem and have it dribble down and maybe blow some bits just to give them a little bit of something extra. Um, these paints tend to dry quite translucent, which is great for this. Um, so, let's see. My idea is to kind of do what we would normally call a, um, a ring pour, which is basically where you have colours layered on top of each other, and then you pour them out onto the <laughs> onto the surface and rings. Now obviously this ring has something in the way. I can't just pour it straight um, on there, but that's why I've got this sitting on my lazy Susan. And I'm gonna give it a go. See, I can turn this around. And, uh, but before I do that, I've just realized I haven't wiped this down with alcohol. And anytime you are painting on a used item or even a brand new item, I highly recommend, um, if it is a hard surface like this, wipe it down with some alcohol. Um, just to get rid of the, any oils, either from fingers or from um, the manufacturing process uh, or even a bad hand washing job <laughs> I don't know about you but I have teenage boys and uh, they tend not to be the most what will you say uh, intent on getting a good job has anybody else had that situation? Um, they they tend to be more. I've got to get this done and finished and out of the way so that I can go and play. So give that a bit of a rub with some alcohol and dry it off a little bit before we start. I hope I'm not driving tonight. <laughs> uh, Alright, as I said, I'm going to do this by pouring at the base of the stem. Uh, and just keep going round and round. And letting it drip down. Hopefully creating something that looks funky and fantastic. 
I've kind of I've done red and yellow, which kind of to me it oh, red, yellow, and black, which kind of to me indicates sort of a, a flames result. But I have an odd feeling looking at the way this is running or not running as the case may be that this painting has some other ideas of its own and you know what i'm gonna leave it at that why because i actually don't want too much coming right the way down to lip zone um, This is not officially supposed to be used in a lip zone um, and uh, it's non-toxic but hey you know let's see what happens Let me just double check you guys can what you guys can see I'll zoom you in a little bit so it's looking quite funky on there but as I say, I'm going to try blowing a little bit. Ah! Wow. This is taking more blowing than I thought it would. I'd hoped to catch it before it went off the end, which is why I hadn't put anything underneath it to hold it up. Now I'm regretting that. <laughs> All right, so. It looks like wax. If I hadn't blown it, it would just look like wax. Oh, I don't want those water droplets from when I... Really gotta be careful when you're blowing. What happens to the water droplets? <clears throat> as I said, I want to try and keep that lip as clean as possible. Okay. And now I've made a bit of a mess. Now I really am making a mess. All right. Hmm. All right, so I'm just gonna park that there for a second because I don't think that that hose is quite what I need. As soon as I can turn this piece quite easily, I'm going to actually resort back to my good old friend, the straw. zoom out a little bit so you get more picture
not quite quite what I had in mind. But a work in progress. I'm gonna wash it off and give it another go. Okay, let's get the give this another go. Um So we've got the black. The red. And the yellow. Now these paints are pretty much straight out of the bottle. And I don't think they've got any silicon in them from previous pours. So I'm hoping I dried that really well. Before it goes too far, I gotta stop that. I don't want those curving too much. Oh, check out the inside. Hmm. So now let's see what it does as it runs back down the glass. Oh, no. I want you to go down the stem. That's better. There we go. Okay. There it flows. Now, what I'm going to do is do some more pouring, but at this bottom crux instead. If I can get this tin to cooperate without sticking my hand in the top bit. I need to lift this up. <laughs> this needs to be sitting on something. Ah, I have not been thinking very well on this. Come on, paint. You can drip this way, please. Time for you to run all the way down. Mm. 
Okay, let's see if we can get just a little bit more out. So, well, I'm liking that so far. I'm just going to get rid of any air bubbles with this little torch. Oh, maybe I was wrong. There may be silicon in this, people. We may have some cell action going on. Ooh, that could come out quite fun and funky. All right, I'm gonna get the camera down off the tripod. And show you what I have. All right, so it would be my guess that the the silicon was in the yellow. Check that out. We have got cell action upon cell action. I'm out of focus. Handheld. Sorry. It's almost like stained glass. That's very cool. And then the stem is going to be even more fun because it's not even seeing it to focus. Hello stem. Oh, I want to really show you this. It's so pretty. Here we go. Look at that. How is that for pretty? Pretty out of focus. Sorry guys. Let's try and make it more of the picture. Nope. It wants to focus on the alcohol. Bad camera. Come on, camera. There we go. Oh, the camera is just not doing this wine glass justice. Oh, how's it getting any better than that? And then we've got a swirling pool of lava at the bottom. So, I'm looking forward to seeing how this dries very much. And I'm also looking forward to seeing what we can create cabochon wise so let's get this glass moved over and back up on the tripod and I'll be right back all right so 
this camera is really not focusing very well. I'm so sorry. Um, but what I do have is a couple of really funky patches that um, I think will come out really well as cabochons. So, if you haven't been following my, my channel, this is a cabochon. It is a glass, um, flat-backed, rounded top. And a cabochon is a style of gem cut. And um, we're painting on the backs of them today. <laughs> So I always clean the back of my cabochon where the paint is going to go just so that I don't pick up something utterly beautiful and have a piece of yuck in the, already on the glass. And I've just got this on a stick with a piece of poster putty, blue tack, whatever you want to call it. And I am going to dip one side. And roll to capture the design that was in the paint. And when we take the stick off, we get something pretty. Let me see if I can get this to focus properly. No. Focus on my finger? Yeah, it'll focus on my finger. Oh well. Once this is dry, we'll be able to see what it looks like. And I'm going to go over to the other side. This one. And get a rectangle out of that. Now, one of the reasons why I roll it, there's two reasons. One, if you just push it straight down and flat into the paint, you can actually pick up some air bubbles, like cause some air bubbles between the cabochon and the paint. Um, so by tilting it in, you get less of that. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but it, you get less of it. Um, and also, You'll see here that in some places the paint is not as wide as the cabochon. Um, I mean you can do, you can add a little bit of extra paint in there just to help it out if you want to. And if it's really skinny in a certain place, I would recommend this, like this one was. But by putting it in on one side and rolling it across, it pushes the paint ahead of itself. <clears throat> and in doing so, creates a... bigger puddle. such as that so let's see how that has come out come on focus what is going on with this camera oh there we go focused so we have swirly Wonderfulness. <laughs> How's it get any better than that? It's really wonderfulness. Alright. I don't think I'm going to get another one. I don't think there's enough paint in this piece here. Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. Let's give it a go. Because the cool thing is, it's just paint. And so just like with the glass, you're able just to wash it off and try again if it or 
use it another time if it doesn't work for you. So, once again, put the blue tack stick on the round side, polish the flat side, and I think I'm going to go in that way. And let's see what we got. Hmm. That one's interesting. We'll see how it dries. Because even once this, uh, once it's dry, this paint not quite so much. You've only got about 24 hours on this paint. Um, much longer than that. This, this paint is dishwasher safe if you bake it. But it's also... Um, hand wash safe after 72 hours so highly recommend deciding whether you're keeping it or not <laughs> within about 24 hours and then it will wash off pretty easily so I'm intrigued to see how this uh, this all dries and um, I'll be back when it does to show you what magic has been created Talk to you soon in three, two, one. All right, so they're dry. <laughs> Check this out. Where the cells were, it became um, much more transparent. And you can actually see through. I really like that. That's very cool. Um, so... It's uh, not so sure about the bottom. The bottom is definitely pretty. Um, and again, some transparent bits. There's a few drip marks underneath, so I'm going to trim those off with a blade. But uh, yeah, it's different. It's interesting. And definitely worth exploring other options so keep your eyes peeled there may be more of this sort of thing to come what else is possible was always a great question all right so now that we've looked at that one <coughs> oh, best I don't. okay so the pendants these have also got some really cool qualities um, if I can it's always fun to get the right angle with these so that you guys can see what I'm seeing and just bear with me a second that's better I like it so this is with the copper pendant color I've I've got them these three with three different colours and I'd really love your feedback as to which one you would prefer, which one you think goes best with these colours. So let me know in the comments which colour you would go for. And this is the the first heart that we did. Again, it's got that dimension happening. It almost looks like the top. This bit is hot, closer up than the dark. It's really got that whole shadow thing happening. I'm really quite excited about that. That's cool. And whoop, these are not glued in. I use a, a two-part epoxy resin um, glue. For those of you that are wondering how I glue these in. And then I have started engraving the glass with my initials to, to sign them. So These are not finished yet, obviously. I've just popped them in to the pendant. 
if you're interested in getting some of these i've got a link in the an amazon affiliate link in the um description um but they're also available on places like wish or um play you know aliexpress stuff like that i do recommend making sure that you get the right size cabochon for your pendants because they they come in different sizes and if you don't buy them as sets then you can end up with the wrong size so highly recommend that you either just buy them as sets or um, really read the instructions information to make sure that your pendants and your um cabochons match so there we have it we have a wine glass and three pendants and a lot of fun was had by all <laughs> how's it getting any better than that all right guys so i will be looking forward to creating more magic in future videos and uh, how much fun can you have in your day to day I adore you all come join us on acrylic pouring for fun Facebook group follow me on Instagram where you can see what I'm doing when I'm doing it rather than waiting for them to dry and be finished and what else is possible I adore you bye bye